Well, what is going on, YouTube? This is Minty Josh 19 and welcome back to my channel. So, this is actually going to be an updated video, but before I get into the into yeah, I can't talk. Before I get into today's video, uh, just a friendly reminder: if you haven't gotten the sh the Shocker, the limited edition uh, baton, um, I think that's how you say it. Um, the event is over. It was only available through November 3rd, and currently it's November 4th at 12.17 in the morning. So the event is over. Um, but also, if you haven't already, and you have the GTA Plus membership, <sighs> um, the Night Shark which is all the way down here past the all the way past the um the B65 from the I'm sure how you say that. Um if you have the GTA Plus membership, it is for sale for zero dollars so it is free. So that's just a friendly reminder. Uh but anyway, so this is actually gonna be an updated video of one of the vehicles that I did before as a lot of you might have might remember I made a Dodge Challenger that was used in NCS Los Angeles and driven by the agent Sam Hanna. Well, at that time I didn't have the um, Hellfire Police Car GT Online, and now I do. So we're gonna be remaking that video. Or remaking that car. So this is basically the updated version. So the Challenger that was used in NCIS Los Angeles is a 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. Now the series NCS LA um, actually ran from. It was basically ran from 2009 to 2023. So, if, from what I heard, the show does is not uh, renewing its. The show is not making any more episodes for it. But there are coming out with I think NCS Hawaii. And I'm not sure they have NCS New Orleans anymore. I know they have the original NCS, but they just don't have the original actors in it. Need, so I can bring them around. There it is. Anyway. So for this build, the vehicle you're gonna need to use can be found in the Warstock Cache and Carry, and it is the Gauntlet Interceptor. It's based off a 2018-ish, or 2015 through 2024 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. It is a two-door police car that looks and sounds like a Challenger in real life. I don't know why I exited out of that. Currently, it's pretty pricey. Um, the trade price is four million sixty-five thousand dollars. Well, the actual price that you can buy now, if you haven't completed the missions, is five million four hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Now, keep in mind this is a police car, so if you go to sell it, you won't get any money back for it. Now, as a stock police car, it's got two lights, red and white, blue, flashing on the grill. It's got the standard lights in the windows, the taillights flash, and it's got the standard red and blues on top. And since this is police car, Vin uh, Vincent will call you, and I want you to do some work. Let me just claim my earnings. There we go. Anyway, so now that we have that, this is a police car, so the only place you customize it is someplace you own. I mean, I usually go to my mobile operations center. 
But you don't have to, you can go anywhere. You know what, real quick, before I actually do this, I'm gonna go raid the stash house real quick. Messaging me now. Two games for I joined you. Looks like there was no time for us. Okay, which is my buddy. Okay. So before I c continue the video, I'm gonna read the stash house. I'm just gonna find the password. There it is. What does that say? 77, 79, 73. 77, 79, 73. There we go. Okay, now I can get back to the video. Okay, anyway, so now that we've gotten the car and I completed Stash House, we're right back at my mobile operations center. Now to enter it, you just drive up to the back if you're able to. You press Y on the D-pad, or press right on the D-pad, and then your car will be inside. So we're just going to start at the top of the list and work our way down, starting with armor. Armor upgrade, 100%. This item can be unlocked at rank 100, and it's going to cost you $50,000. Brakes, race brakes, this item is going to cost you $35,000. The bumpers, I don't think you need to change the bumpers at all. Yeah, no, so you don't need to change the bumpers. You just want to keep the stock bumpers. Um, engine upgrade. EMS upgrade level 4. This item is going to be $33,500. Um, exhaust. Stock exhaust. If you want, you can do bigger. I'm going to keep stock. The grill. So the grill, you want to go with the primary open grill. This gets rid of that thing in the center. Headlight covers, you don't need. Hood, 
So you could. So you want to go with the smooth hood. This will get rid of that thing that the engine that moves in the center. And this is going to cost you about three thousand dollars. Lights, headlights, and Xeon lights. This item can be unlocked at rank twenty one. It's going to cost you roughly. Roughly seventy five hundred bucks. That's seven thousand five hundred. Um, a library. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, you can make the LS race team or the LS drag team. We're gonna go with none, and this is gonna cost you eleven thousand four hundred dollars. May always make sure you have the tracker and full coverage on your car. I know that you buy them from any online website in the game. You don't they already have it, but if you steal off the street, you do need to put on that. Um, police equipment. Aerials, none. Searchlights, none. Emergency lighting. So because this is Agent Sam Hanna's car, I'm not sure if he has emergency lighting in, but we are actually going to make it because he is a special agent. And I think he does have emergency lighting in his car. Could be wrong about that though. Uh, but no emergency lighting is going to cost you. $4,200. Um, let's see. Rear panel. Keep stock. Respray the car. Primary color. Classic. I'm going to keep that black. Secondary color. Classic as well. Black. I do like to have a roll cage in my car. So roll cage, just a standard roll cage, is going to cost you eleven hundred dollars. The roof, keep it looking like that. Um, so like I said, if you sell a vehicle, you would get nothing for it. Skirts you don't need. The spoiler you don't need. Suspension would keep stock. Transmission. Race transmission is going to cost you forty thousand dollars. Turbo tuning is going to cost you fifty thousand dollars. That's standard for most cars. Wheels. This is where it's going to get tricky. Here's actually an accurate picture of the wheels. So we're just gonna start down and see what we can find. Oh, first. I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, high end. Low rider. Nothing in there. Muscle. So these wheels would work. These ones are three thousand seven hundred and forty dollars. These wheels will also work. The Endo V1s for five thousand eight hundred and forty dollars. These wheels will work. The Ice Kids, so the Rough Weld, for twenty thousand dollars. The Masters for ten thousand. Super Fives, Endo V2. I'm probably going to go with the Masters. Let me just see some. Hmm. 
the stamped EGs would also work. So there's lots of different options that would work. Um, me personally, I'm gonna have to go with these wheels here for three thousand seven hundred and forty dollars. But that's mostly because they do have that same shape that's very similar to what is in the film. Um, windows, just a little black tint, a little light smoke for $1,500. And that's it. That is how you make Sam Hanna's a Dodge, Ch Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat that was used in NCS Los Angeles, especially during episodes 10, 11, and 12. And I think in one episode, um, Agent Hetty actually puts in a supercharger, and so he get so uh, Sam and Sam and Callan can actually take out a street racer. Now to use the lights and okay, now to use the lights and sirens, you do need to press the analog, the left analog stick to activate them, and then you press it double time to get this siren and just stand it to get the other one. I'm not sure why the UFOs are still here though. They're supposed to be gone. Hm. Oh. In the meantime, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you all enjoy it because I, I know I do. I'm a huge NCIS fan anyways. So. Uh, but let me know in the comments about what you think of the video. And um, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to leave a comment about what you, th you said that, uh, about what you think of the video and if you have any other movie cars or TV show cars you want me to make. Just let me know. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch, Instagram, and Snapchat at josh 19 I usually live stream Call of Duty, although sometimes I live stream Daisy. Or Ark Survival Evolved. So, in the meantime, I hope you all had a good weekend. I know tomorrow's Monday, which stinks, but you know. So I hope you all had a good weekend, and I will see you all next weekend. Later. Oh wait, I love this part. Bye. Should be. There we go. $25,000. Nice. Well, I will see you all later. Have a good night.